Good morning. In the previous video, we discussed about the what is the classification and then what about the decision tree. And then now we are going to know about the basic classification and rule based classification. Here you have some idea about what is a classification and then how can you form the decision tree and then by using Weka tool. Here, what is a base classification here? The base classification depends upon a base theorem. Here, Bayesian classifier, a statistical classifier. Here, this is a based on a membership probability, probability of A divided by B. Here, such as the probability that given tuple belongs to a particular class. That is a base class. That is a base classification. Here, the probability that given tuple belongs to a particular class. A particular probability belongs to a particular tuple. The particular row belongs to a particular a class. That is called Bayes theorem. Here, Bayesian classification based on Bayes theorem. What is the Bayes theorem? Here, here the Bayes theorem comparing the Bayes theorem. Here, the comparing the Bayes theorem is a one important probability distribution here the comparing the base theorem uh, class uh, the classifier also known as a bayesian classifier here the, the compatible in performance with the decision tree here the accuracy and uh, speed when applied to large database is high and then what is the uh, why bayesian classifiers here what is the need of bayesian classifiers it is a statistical classifier performing the probability prediction the main intention of this um, theory here is a performing the um, probabilistic prediction the predict the class membership of probabilities here here the foundation is based the foundation of a new Bayesian classification here based on a Bayes theorem here the first performance is simple Bayesian classifier a yeah, new, new Bayesian classifier has a compatible um, comparable performance with the decision tree. A selected in a neural network classifier. Here, yeah, this is a some information about the new Bayesian classifier. Here, yeah, it uh, depends upon a Bayes theorem and new Bayesian classifier. Here, yeah, what is the Bayes theorem here? Here, yeah, the Bayes theorem depends upon a hypothesis values here. Here, a given training set, training data set X. X in the sense, training data set in the sense, here number of rows here I am considering here. In this case, the posterior probability of an hypothesis H. Hypothesis. Hypothesis in this case here, you are taking the classes, the class member val values here. Follow the probability of H by X. The probability of H by X x equal to probability of x by h into probability of h divided by probability of x here what about the x here the evidence value here the, that means probability of h by e the evidence here h is a some hypothesis here probability of h by x here the probability of h by x e call it as a posterior probability of h condition on x here probability of x by h here, this also a posterior probability of H condition on H. This is a some thing about the um, base uh, classification. Here comes to the new Bayesian classification you applied on our data set here. Here, new Bayesian classification also call it as a new. Here, because the class conditional independence. Let us take D is a training data set of tuples here. Here, you are taking the D as a training data set here. Here, what is the data set you are considering here? You may take any data set. Here, uh, all electronics company data set or otherwise you may take any kind of data set here. Here, that in this case, here D is a, a training set of tuples here. Here, there are associated class labels here. For example, whether buying a computer or not. Associated level, yes or no. Here, because he, they, they have to give in the associated class labels are represented by the n-dimensional um, vectors. Here, is this n-dimensional attribute vectors here, for example, age, for example, this is come here. Mm -hmm. For example, if you take the data set here, in this data set here, age is a one attribute, income is a another attribute student is another attribute credit rating is another attribute. buying the computer yes or no 
is another attribute it's a class label yeah that is a thing here here in the new version classification it is a training data set and then uh, here associated class label here tuple represented by each and every tuple tuple is represented by attribute vector x equal to x1 x2 x2 suppose m classes are there here how can you represent the classes c1 c2 and cn what are the c1 c2 cn for example if you take the data set here c1 in the sense no c1 c2 in the sense s two classes are there here here i am taking the many classes here in this case i am taking the m number of classes here the classification is to derive the maximum posterior that is a maximum p uh, probability of pi divided by x here pi is a hypothesis in the bayesian classification bayes theorem ci number of classes in the sense here this is a hypothesis here the predicting the values here yes or no this is a hypothesis value c here the number of classes in this case here hypothesis for example probability of h by x here the c1 is a equal to h value this can be derived from the bayes theorem how can you derive this information from the bayes theorem here you can derive the bayes theorem the probability of um, c i divided by x equal to probability of x divided same previously probability here instead of h i am taking the c i value probability of c i divided by um, x equal to probability of x divided by c i into probability of c i divided by x probability of c i divided by x here here in this case here p of x value here p of x is a constant for all classes here here probability of x here you consider why because x is a tuple values here here the tuple of tuple values only needs to be maximized that means you have to eliminate that value in here then finally you get a probability of c c i divided by x equal to probability of x divided by c i into probability of c i value you get a that means in the first step here first you are considering m classes here from the m classes here posterior probability value here you are deriving the probability of c i divided by x from the bayes theorem here probability of c i divided by x equal to probability of x divided by c i into probability of c i divided by probability of x here x probability of x is a constant value here only needs to be the constant particular constant is there i am taking the this value here here attribute values here that is a information that means finally you have a probability of c i divided by x equal to probability of x divided by c i into probability of c i here in this case here that means simple assumption here attributes are conditionally independent that means no dependent that means all attributes in this case here conditionally dependent between the attributes here then the probability of x divided by c i in this case probability of x divided by i am going to identify the probability of x divided by c i here probability of x divided by c i you are consider as a pi of probability of x k divided by c i that is equal to probability of x1 c i into probability of x2 c i that and so on probability of x n c i this can be that, that means reduces a computational cost here here the cost here you can uh, computational cost the the only the only count class distribution here if it is a efk is a, a categorical attribute here categorical attribute in the sense here no no number here the finite values are there the categorical attribute having the finite value then a of probability of xk a particular value i am taking probability of xk ci is a number of tuples in a ci having the x of k for a of k derived by the this value that means the number of tuples of c in d here c1 ci ci in the sense how can you represent it? all no values are s values in this uh, data set all no r s values which is a all no values you are considering all s values you are considering here for example that is that is a probability values here here you are taking the only this value and then for example if i take the um, data set here in this data set here how can you apply the here the data set consists of age 
income student credit rating or whether buying the computer or not this, this is called here class label here in this case here the data tuples are derived from the attributes that means you are always deriving from the attributes here the age income the student and credit rating here the class label by the computer has a two distinct value here that means you are taking the c1 c2 here yes namely yes or no c1 corresponding to the buying the computer yes that is important one c2 correspond to the buying the computer s2 then what is the formula here here the tuple which to find the the main here that means here you identify the x equal to age equal to youth that is a greater than or equal to the greater than value 30 income equal to medium income equal to medium student equal to yes rating equal to 5 then you need to maximize the x divided by ci value into ci for i equal to 1 to m that means um, probability of the summation um, product values here the how to identify the product value here pi a priori probability of uh, here in this case this pi value priori probability of each class can be computed based on a training tuples here here how can you uh, identify the pi values here training tuples here based on the training tuple yeah that is, you will identify the pi value this is a new new Bayesian classification the algorithm format here what are the step by step process for new Bayesian classification here the first step here is a consider the x tuples here class label in a green, given training set day a second uh, calculation here is a how to identify the probability value probability of ci that is a priori probability how to identify the probability pi the second step the third step here is a calculate the conditional probability for given attributes in tuple x and then now calculate the probability of x divided by ci here the result value and then calculate the class condition independence using this is a formula here this is a formula what is the formula in this case probability of x divided by ci equal to probability of x1 divided by c ci into probability of x2 divided by ci probability of x3 divided by ci this is a formula here in this case c1 c2 only you are taking the c1 c2 values here here now compare x of um, x divided by ci greater than or equal to probability of c divided by cj maximized value is considered as a uh, correct uh, class label prediction that is a uh, new version classification here in this case here I, I for example the same tuple here for the tuple here here this is a tuple value here for example i am taking this tuple here here what is this tuple here for this tuple take this tuple copy for simplicity for easily to identify the values paste it here here uh, from current here there is a data set here for the data set how can you apply the new version classification here here i need to identify the probability of ci value how can you identify the probability of ci value here probability of c1 equal to here what is the probability of c1 value here c1 equal to by the computer equal to yes how many values are there here the values here nine yes values are nine see this one probability of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 values are there then the probability of ci the probability of c1 by probability of c1 equal to 9 divided by 14 0 0.643 and then probability of c2 here c2 value how can you identify the 5 divided by 14 0 0.3 357 here in this case here to compute the next probability of x divided by c1 c2 here the c1 c2 values here here the age by the computer yes or no here for age for example x values for x equal to age x equal to age the age here is a youth here age less than or equal to 30 by the computer yes how many values are there youth here corresponding youth values let's take this one youth values 1 2 oh, 3 4 5 total 5 youth values are there among the 5 youth value how many nodes are there 1 2 for the youth 3 here 
three values are there. Youth three. Here, let's say I am taking here three divided by here three no is equal to three divided by five the value. Here s values. Here by the computer youth s values. Income equal to medium and by the computer s. Here take the income equal to medium. Here the income value here the medium. How many mediums are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mediums are there. Here income equal to medium s equal to one. Income equal to median S equal to how many S are there? One, two, three, four. Only four. Among the four, four numbers are S, two numbers are no. Here for the income here, four numbers S. Here total income value here nine. Nine divided by nine value here. Here in this way, here two divided by five. Here in this way we identify for the student here. Similarly, student here. Here, take a uh, rule here. What is the rule here? The first, I need to identify the x. X is a age less than 30. That means age less than 30 in the sense youth income equal to medium, student equal to yes, the credit rating fail. Here, for this one, I'm going to calculate in the probability of x divided by ci. Here, probability of x computer s. Here, I'm taking these values here 0 0.22. Here, age equal to the base on age less than h here 0 0.22 value here 0 0.44 equal to s that means all s value are into 0 point uh, student s and then four s values i'm taking the one 0 0.22 another one 0 0.44 another one 0 0.667 another one 0 0.667 the value is zero and and then computer probability of x divided by the computer no for this one 0 0.600 and then 0 0.4 and to 0 0.2 and then 0 0.2 here in this case no values i can say this is it then finally probability of x divided by x by divided by ci into probability of ci value here this value is a therefore x belongs to class by the computer yes here based on a probability of x divided by x by ci greater than or equal to probability of x cj here x by ci x by ci value always greater than or equal to cj value here in, in this case yeah that means in this case here all values here the cj values greater than that's why this is a new version classification new version classification some comments advantages are there easy to implement and good result obtained in a most of the cases here here what are the disadvantages here the disadvantage in, in this case here is a class conditional independent therefore loss of accuracy is there here in this case here dependencies exist among the variables examples hospitals patients the profile age family history etc. symptoms that means in this case we will take a simple example here here that means how to deal with these independence here is the help of patient and we will discuss later about the patient networks here here take another example here you have a data set here department department consists of sales department systems department marketing department and secretary department here the status here junior senior and then only junior senior is there the age in this case 31 to 35, 26 to 13, 31 to 35, and then the age here 21 to 50 age maximum, minus minimum to the salary here 46k to 50k. Here, like this, this is a uh, some data set here. In this data set, I I want to identify the department by status. The department by status here, the sales department by status senior or something here. The say here in this case here the class sales department here what are the department here sales department system department marketing department and secretary the conditional probability i'm going to consider it here the conditional probability of department by status here for this one you have to identify these values here for the senior the conditional probability for the sales department one divided by senior for the senior one divided by five here total how many seniors are there one one two three four five among the five in the sales department only one senior is there here only one senior is there that's why one divided by five system 
seniors for the system department take the system department here in the system department two seniors are there how many seniors one two three four five uh, two divided by five and then marketing one divided by five and then secretary one divided by five and then juniors are there here similarly we will identify the junior representation what how many juniors are there one two three four five six uh, six juniors are there among the six juniors two juniors are the um, sales department uh, that means i am going to identify the sales department here the status is sales department two divided by six that is by one divided by four similarly system department here comes to the system department in the system department one two two juniors are there two divided by six and then marketing department here comes to the marketing one junior is there one divided by total juniors are six here that is in this case in this way you will identify the conditional probability value here probability of age divided by status here based on age divided by status here similar case here here how can you identify i am taking the age 21 to 30 here uh, 21 to 30 26 to 30 at the 31 to that means i am taking the different ages here the age group 21 to 25 how many seniors are there age group 21 to 25 the age group how many seniors are there age group here 21 to 30 how many for example if this is a senior this is a senior this is a senior senior 21 to 30 no one is there here and then 26 to 30 also no one is there 31 to 35 seniors 31 to 35 31 to 35 here comes to the one senior here here one senior is there 31 to 35 another second senior is there and then uh, 31 to 35 junior one junior is there here two divided by five similarly one divided by five one divided here in this case you will identify the conditional probabilities for the all data from the conditional probability here you have to identify the senior age value and then senior in this in this way just like a similar case you will identify the all probability values here here that is a decision new version classification the next important one here is a rule based classifier here what is a rule based classifier very important concept here it is a what is a rule based classifier is it? the rule based classifier used to represent a information orbit of knowledge here here it's based on a different if then rules here here based on that means rule based class file uses a if then rules here here if condition is there then what is the next uh, result the rules can be extracted from the decision tree decision tree also one of the technique for, for extracting the rules that means the main intention of the this problem here is a how can you extract the rules here here some of the rules extracted from the if then rule some of the rules extracted from the decision tree. Some of the rules extracted from the sequential covering algorithm. Here, the rules may be extracted or generated from the sequential covering algorithm associated to classification algorithms here. This is a rule-based classification. The rule here, you call it as a if then rules. If a something is there, then uh, re result here. Here, uh, for example, when rule predict the accuracy equal to one then, that means it depends upon accuracy. For predicting the rules here, you will need a different kinds of algorithms here. The C4.5, CART are the most important algorithms for the decision tree. Here, the rule-based classification consists of, that means you can generate or you can extract the rules based on a if then rules for the classification. Rule extracted from the decision tree. Rule um, extracted by using sequential covering algorithm. That means different ways here. One way here is a rule um, extracted from the some uh, some way. The rule extracted from the decision tree. Rule extracted from by using uh, some sequential covering algorithm. The first thing here is a first one. The rule extracted the rule using if then rule for the classification. Here, for example, same data set I am considering here. Here, the data set here is how can you generating the rules for this one by using if then statement here. Here, the rule covering here, the rule based classification which is a if then rules for classification. Here, the expression of the form here, if condition, then conclusion. This is a syntax for the if then rules here. 
using if then rules here for classification representing a knowledge in the form of if then rules here for example rule 1 if a is equal to youth for example a is equal to youth here i am taking the from the data set here i am going to writing some rules here a is equal to youth and it is a you may use and or and student equal to yes a is equal to youth student equal to yes a is equal to youth here is there that means youth student equal to yes then what is the condition by the computer yes always by the the student always buying the computer here if the rule constant are precondition here then the rule consequent are a prediction the prediction predicted value here as the by the computer are if it is a for example rama is rama is a age 25 years but that's why he is a youth and then rama is a student then he is he, he can buy the computer here the assessment of a rule the coverage and accuracy here here based on the this formula you will identify the coverage as well as the accuracy for the rule based classification here here in this case here um, size ordering uh, class based ordering rule based ordering some information is there here that means if more than one rule is triggered is, that means if you want to execute the more than more than one rule uh, that means you need to conflict resolution that is a size ordering in the size ordering as in highest priority to execute the rules here that means uh, what is the rule having the highest priority that highest priority rule i am going to execute it. and then class based ordering decreasing the order of the prevalence or misclassification cast for the class rule based ordering that means rules organized in a one long priority list according to the sum measure of the rule by the expert here the rule that, that is a one way that means in this case here you will based on a the attribute values in this case you will generating the n different rules here for example rules um, extracted from the decision tree here everyone knows about the decision tree decision tree is a flow chart like a structure in this decision tree how can you represent the decision tree values here 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 internal nodes you call it as a test and a attribute value and then branch indicates the, the result of a test and then the leaf node is a the label the leaf node indicates the label here the output label here here from the uh, you have a data set is there here you have a data set like this here you will generate already explain the how can you generate in the decision tree here based on the decision tree you can generate the decision tree like this here that means in this case rules are easy to understand than a large tree one rule is created for each and every path in a root of the tree from this to this you may create the one root here the age equal to youth and then student equal to no by the computer no one rule here for each in the decision tree for every path you call it as a, a single rule here and then each attribute value for the pair along with the path from a conjunction that means rules are mutually exclusive and exhaustive here for the this tree uh, that means i generated this tree from the data set here by using record tool or something here here you generated the uh, decision tree from the data set and then from this de um, decision tree you can uh, uh, derive the rules here here if you take the first uh, path here i am taking the first path from the first path here if age equal to youth and then student equal to no then by the computer equal to no second path take the second path this is a second path here here in the second path age equal to youth student equal to yes yes by the computer the value here is a s here comes to the third path here if age equal to middle age then you will by the computer if age equal to senior age equal to senior then the credit rating based on a credit rating equal to fair the third path how many paths are there five paths are there that means you will generate in the different rules fair then he is not buying the computer and then age equal to senior credit rating equal to excellent yes by the computer that means from this table here you will generating the five different rules in this way you will generating the rules from the decision tree and then 
Another important one here is a rule induction within the sequential covering algorithm. A sequential covering algorithm is, is used to extract the rules directly from the training data set. Here, the same training data set you are considering. Here, the same training data set here. The data set consists of age, income, the student, credit rating, and then by the computer. I am taking the, all this information. From the all this information, how can you apply in the sequential covering algorithm? This algorithm used to identify the rules here. A typical a typical sequential covering algorithms are uh, first order inductive learning, AQ, and then something here. The rules are learned sequentially each for the CI value. Here, the steps involved in a sequential covering algorithm. First, rules are learned uh, one at a time. Here, you learn the rules one at a time. First, that means how to learn the one rules. For example, if uh, first you have to take the one rule here. If uh, if age equal to youth, student equal to yes, then by the computer, one rule. And that means each time rule is learned, the tuples covered by the rule are removed. Here, from the data set here, first you have to learn the one rule. Here, you are taking the one rule here. Here, if you take that rule here, how many rows cover that particular rule? That means you have to remove the all rows all rows from the uh, rule here. That means if you take the data set here, first you have to learn the one rule here. If, what is the condition here? If age equal to youth, income equal to high, age equal to youth, a student equal to no, then by the computer equal to no. Here, how many rows covered here, this rule here? It covers the one, two. Here, age equal to youth, and then student equal to no. Age equal to youth, here student equal to no two and then one two three rows covered here three rows covered here three rows covered here if age equal to youth incoming student if age equal to youth and student no then by the computer no that means it covers the three rows here first you have to remove first for the first rule here this is the first rule here for the first rule here the covering information you have to remove in the these three rows for each time rule learned the tuples covered by the rule are removed this process repeats on a remaining double until termination condition here in this way it comes to the second rule here from the second rule here if how many tuples cover the second rule here we have to remove those tuples here and then until getting the termination condition this is a sequential covering algorithm this algorithm represents the same representation what are the input values here? Here you are simply taking the data set uh, set with the class label here. Why? Because you are going to perform in the classification. That's why you should consider the class label here. And then attribute values here. Attribute values also you have to take the set of all attributes and their possible values also you should consider. Here that means totally you have to take the data set. And then what is the output here? The generation of rules here. Here, how can you first step here? The rules underscore set equal to empty. First, initially set of rules land is a empty. You are taking the empty set. Here, for each and every class, for each and every class, class in the sense, yes or no. Yes, yes, yeah, no. By the computer, no. First, initially take the by the computer, no. Here, the for each and every rule here, rule equal to learn one rule at a time. That means the rule uh, parameters are there. Remove the tuple covered by the rule from the D. Here, first, you are taking the until uh, termination condition for the no. Here, rule set equal to rule set plus rule. That means add a new rule to the set. Here, end for that means in this way, you will perform in the sequential covering algorithm. Here, this is a way of uh, representing the here. How can you get the one rule here? In order to getting the one rule here, full gain is a one approach here. In this approach here, you are considering the this is a formula for identification of this uh, game and then likelihood ratio is a one and then rule pruning is a one approach here in this approach here you will identify and then what are the advantages of rule, rule based classifier here very important here expensive as a here that means it is taking some expensive as a decision tree here easy to represent here easy to generate and then classify a new instance rapidly 
here the performance compared to the decision tree can easily handle the missing values and numeric attributes here available in echo here that means so on r here you may consider any vector tool r okay thank you thank you